Hey everybody, welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. In the last episode, we explored through the rest of the terrace and its surrounding galaxies. Completed pretty much all of them as far as we can't complete until now, or until the future. In this episode, we're going to explore whatever new dome we unlocked. As you can see here, it's called the Fountain. We already have two galaxies unlocked, which is amazing. That ball of flame represents the power of the observatory. We call it the beacon. Yes, I know that, Rosalina. Thank you very much. When you recover a grand star, grand star, a little power star, star power will be restored, and the beacon will grow. The common observatory can use that power to fly through the universe. We know this already. Once all the power is restored, we will even be able to fly to the center of the universe. We did not know that. Thank you for some new commentary. Oh, the power is on in a new dome. Yep, fountain right here. I was able to see that earlier. The newly opened dome is called the Fountain. It's really quite relaxing. By the way, have you looked at the map? It contains information about the galaxies as well as domes. If you forget about the location of a dome, don't hesitate to speak with me. I will save now. So we finished all of part two, which was pretty great. Now I will talk to him just to see the map. I love looking, so here's a list of stars too. There's best race times, and here's my galaxies. So you can see little minor one thing galaxies. I think those are major storyline galaxies, and here are actual galaxies that have six stars. So this just shows the dome location. I'm not sure how it helps you. I guess it does, you know, to go to left here or right there. Two new galaxies, then those are honey having good egg that aren't completed. And once you've done a Hungry Luma mission once, it turns into a little pink Luma. And will let you go back anytime. Which I also really like. Now, as a whole, I like the Phantom's design. It looks cool. Really cool, actually. But it's got some of my least favorite galaxies in the entire game. Starting off with Space Truck Galaxy, which quite literally is a pile of junk. And then Polestar Path. I guess it's a decent mission. I, don't know, I just don't enjoy this one like I do with others. Music is really slow and tedious. Like, I don't like the whole feel of like I'm doing a deep space exploration thing. I'm not gonna complain too much though, because it is still pretty great. Going into my thoughts from other domes. I guess only one other dump so far. The Terrace. I honestly have no feelings, but I've played through this game so many times. Every time I just get through it, I don't enjoy it, I don't hate it. It's just there. Which is funny, because I do have pretty strong feelings about the other domes. That's what try to be quick, screws you over. The music in this game is really just incredible. Like, there's one, maybe two galaxies where I'm just gonna pause, only do the music for a bit. It's so good. Okay, thank you, sir. That was rude. So he's gonna be like, Look, Mario, I made a star shroom. Which is like his starship mushroom.
This actually plays the music for Flip Switch Dogs, which is kind of cool. If you remember where the pieces are going to be, you can just rush through. Close. Did not need to hit Grand Pan there, obviously. Space jug, so it's not all bad. But yeah, that is how poorly I viewed this galaxy. Kind of funny though, because one of my least favorites is in the same area. So I think I'm gonna alternate back and forth for now between them. So here it is Battle Rock Galaxy. I would like to assign a number to each galaxy, just in my head. Keeps it easier to keep track of. A good egg is one, honey hive is two, space jug is three, battle rock is four, so on and so forth. And that's just because those are the only ones that really matter in this game. My main complaint against Balrog Galaxy, besides just the design and tedium of the missions, I don't like the music here either, but here it's just too intense. Not even intense, that's not the right word, just it doesn't fit. Even not, it fits well, it's hard to explain. I guess sometimes you just have that feeling that you don't like something. That's my feeling for Battle Rock. Sir, don't appreciate this. So, I think one of the main reasons why I don't like this is I like being able to play through games to my own pace. So I hate when I have to wait to go through something. So done with Battle Rock Galaxy, so it's not all bad. You guys star on top of the galaxy only done with one mission. Makes it even worse. But they're pulling me out here to tell me something. Yeah. You got a star. Seems that Prankster Top has appeared somewhere. Prankster comments have very strange effects on galaxies. If you want to learn more about these curious comments, ask the Luma who knows such things. So, this guy right here, he's a jerk. He doesn't teach you anything. All he does is moves the Prankster comment. Because in the first game, unlike Galaxy 2, if a Prankster comment, in this case a speedy comment, is in orbit and you don't do it right then, 
you can't do it until it does decide to show up later, which is usually after one mission. But I'm probably gonna drop everything I'm doing to do a comment whenever they show up. Because there's 30 comments in the game, which is the fourth of the total stars. And I hate how I have to wait every single time I wanna do one. So I don't want the end of the game just to be waiting, I want to be able to be moving the entire time. Now it's gonna be four minutes to beat Dino Prana, which is plenty of time. T for T on skipping that guy's text. Yay. There's a few changes, like first there's like a little darker not kind of, like a lot darker. It's the atmosphere. Then, with gameplay, they change these rocks and the chain chomps. Which I don't appreciate because they have a very obnoxious bark in this game. Well, I guess they have that same bark throughout the entire thing. But I usually like the chain chomps. Here, they're just terrifying. Oh no. Oh. Why? Why do I do things? Also, very conveniently, when you die on a comet, you restart the entire mission. So I really should play that safe. I regret everything. I'm stupid. Also, I can't jump over Goomba. Wonderful. Everything's going wrong on this mission. At least for 3 for 3 on skipping. It's possible to make anti-progress, though I feel like I made that. Because this is just, like, feeling such a tedious run through. Okay, not gonna worry about the star bits, because last time I got hit. That's what you were supposed to do. <sighs> Kill these enemies. I really would have rather they just put you like straight to the boss. Had the mission be like, hey. Yeah, 30 seconds. Kill that Prana. That would be a lot more fun than running through the entire galaxy. Because you've already done the exact same mission. This is my issue with it, personally. Okay. Kill you. In this game also, the tire doesn't stop coming down after the star appears. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, I missed that you got a star. How could I have done this? Okay, well there's also a comet that will appear in Honey Hive in the future. For now it doesn't want to show up. There are things you do have to play the game kind of based around comets if you don't want to have a big waiting game at the end. Help this guy. I'm gonna do first though. Instead of helping the Luba, I want a little rainbow star. I think it's my first time grabbing a star. Yep. But you have a superstar on you, are invincible. Save Mr. Luma Man. That I really up there? He's evil. Avoid at all costs. For now. I love how when I get hit once, I lose all my progress. It's fine. There's two ways to do this. One, you can just hit the outer core. And then, oh, here's our big introduce first. Shoot a star bit at one of those little pipe, not pipe, like orbs. And you get a coin to pop out. Really easy way to trade one star bit to one unit to pop. Okay. I'm gonna try to time this so we hit the middle one right away. Just like that. And then we're gonna shake, 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 shake. That skips us past doing the same thing we just did to the other side. And start. shot to get the star or you die. Luckily it's simple. Just wait for the red and yellow things to be out of the way and shoot. How do you ever have to worry about the blue ones? I missed the you gotta star twice in a row. I'm off my game today. Just 
discovered another new galaxy, and you can see I have a blue comet over in Honey Hive. I want to run over, take care of that Honey Hive star right away. And then after that, I should be able just to stay at the fountain until I'm done with it. So a cosmic comet is not it. Man, red is speedy. So every galaxy has one regular comet mission, being speedy, cosmic, a few we haven't seen yet, called Daredevil and Fast Foe. And then there's also one purple comet in each roll, which we're gonna get into a long time from now. I was trying to do the fast start. I've, so there's a fast start, just like Mario Kart. But I forgot how to do it. It's fine though, because he's doing even worse than I am. Just fall down here to the right. It's not any faster. And even with all those failures, I'm still gonna finish far ahead of him. Somehow. Now, something I love about this mission is you can see him. You got a star! Just sitting on the ground there, looking really depressed. Let's not save this one. So. Okay, back to the fountain. I like the little glimmering there is up above. And tag me the third time power. Top Maniac. They have the Top Man Tribe. So we have this Battle Rock. All of its stars are super long. But that would just be like six minutes. So this game has really short missions as a whole. Okay, let's do that. Yep. And Balrock also has a ton of these moving sections where you can't control how fast you go. Besides, a little bit, possibly. There you go, Mario. You kind of made it. Okay, I'll try to stop being so bitter about it, because I am almost on a battle rock. Which is a reward for everyone. Oh, sweet freedom. I'll show you a shortcut as you work. And transform! Not really a shortcut if it's the only way I can go through. So this is my first time actually going into the Battle Rock. That's why I'm assuming this is the Battle Rock. I want to skip past anything I can skip past because why not? Here's a fun skip though. Land on top of this question mark block and jump up here. That takes uh, about half of the time. Then you're back here. Yeah, it takes about half the time you would spend in that area. Which 
which is really cool. And then, something interesting I'd like to mention, not really mention, I'm interested in doing multiple projects at once. So while I upload Galaxy, I might upload Galaxy three days a week, and upload some different project three days a week. And then take one day off. And that'll really just be depending on how I can upload. I have really no set upload schedule because I just upload whenever my computer decides it wants to finish publishing a video. So I have really long uptimes because I'm actually uploading one of the last parts of my Banjo Kazooie playthrough right now. Uploading Cliff Buck Wood Part 1. Seriously recommend you guys watch it. Even though there is no commentary, I do really enjoy the gameplay. And it's another great example of my play style of just completing everything. If you're a completionist, you're gonna love my videos. If you just like racing through, not doing anything, I hope you still like them. So I'm gonna try to be funny at some point in the future. Really not right now because kind of bad. Beats by bad. You got a star. Almost missed that one, but we got it. You got time for like one more star this episode. Hopefully. Let's see here, what can I do? I want to do our space truck star. Space truck's feeling a bit lonely. Battle Rock, I've already done three missions. And then every one of the main galaxies, in addition to its three regular stars and two comets, also has a hidden star. So I can't get either Good Egg or Honey Hive's hidden star yet, but I can get the ones in Battle Rock and Space Junk. So I'll be sure to show those off in the next part. For now though, I'm just rushing through. Here's an introduction to levers. We really not used much in this game. Just shake the remote. And then they're teaching you how to jump and spin. Not sure how you could have possibly done that. Like, do they not expect you to try to jump and then spin one time before you get like halfway through the second world? I just don't get that. Like, that's literally the first thing I tried to do, was jump and spin when I started playing the game. And we're already almost at the boss. Super fast area. First, something not many people know about. You can slide in here, just get a ton of star bits. Actually, all it's here is star bits. I think it's 30, 40 in total. Really cool. And Koopa Abuse is the way to go if you're in the Mario world. Okay, yep, let's not complete that part because why would we? There you go. We're gonna go a bit over on time, but it's fine. I'm just shooting for about 30 minutes of video. And yet another boss. Battle Rock really had one boss to fight, which is crazy. I thought they would have had two, like every other galaxy. So you can shake to bring a shell near you. And by the way, this is Camella. Never seen again in the Maya world after this one game. Which is a shame because it really would be like just a lot better version of K 
Uncanny Koopa, who's long gone. And then just basic magic Koopa, who they sometimes are like, hey, this is a boss now. Have fun with him. And then you're wondering why he's a boss, because it's just a magic Koopa. But just like that, three hits and she's dead. And what I really like is her wand breaks and you gotta start out of that. You gotta start! Da -da -da. Alrighty. In this episode, we got our introduction to comets. We started exploring the fountain. We got a ton of stars in Battle Rock Galaxy. And then we went back and got another star in both Good Egg and Honey Hive. A lot of progress in my opinion. Now in the next episode, we're going to do the rest of Space Junk Galaxy. As well as exploring the smaller missions in the fountain before possibly tackling the boss. And getting our next Grand Star. Till next time, I'll see you later guys. Peace.